All right, we've got the uh, G.I. Joe Retaliation His Tank um, with Cobra Commander. Um, I wasn't going to get this, but then once I actually look at the prices and the fact that this thing is the same price as the um, All Striker and is essentially um, twice the packaging, twice twice the size um, the packaging, uh, I was like, well, that's pretty cool, not a bad value. So, And the Cobra Commander figure looked kind of cool, so... Um, that kind of that's kind of why I bought it. Um, uh, I was a, a bigger fan of the the previous generation with the actual rubber tracks, um, but they didn't roll very well. They just needed a couple of bogey wheels in there to keep the um, tracks from rubbing against the actual um, thing. But uh, the newer versions actually have like the solid plastic uh, wheels underneath there. You can actually see one right there. Um, the Cobra Commander figure looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I would have called him Cobra Commander, uh, might, might have made him the his tank driver or something, but it does look like a Cobra Commander figure, so I can see where they're going with that. I don't know if he's intentionally sculpted that way, but nonetheless, that's what, that's what we got. Um, so far, it looks pretty good. It looks like it has like red tinted um, plastic in there for the uh, for the uh, cockpit. Um, it looks like it's really similar to the previous design. I, I don't know if I'm going to break out the other one or not. If I do, I'll, I'll have them side by side, of course. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. So, we'll open them up and see, see exactly what I bought. Alright, here's the his tank out of the box and partially uh, decaled. Um, I'll talk about the decals real quick. Um, part of the reason I didn't use the decals is because they have these big red instrument decals that pretty much cover up the center cockpit and yeah, it's clear. You can see through there. Um, some other Cobra, uh, other uh, GI Joe decals they've done for cockpit windows have been like transparent with like just line, um, line little figures in there to where you could see the figures, but you could still see through the cockpit. And these were just opaque uh, rectangles that would have fully blocked out the cockpit. So I didn't put those on there. Um, some of the other ones, such as the um, the silver Cobra logos, I'll probably actually put red. Or maybe even black. I'm gonna. I've got some custom um, stickers from uh, CobraStickers.com that I use um, occasionally. Uh, I'll probably put those on there. Um, most of the decals that came with the set were repurposed from the previous mold. So some stuff um, like these stickers down here. It says they should actually go above that, and it's just kind of like weird placement. Uh, if you look at the instructions and stuff, it's kind of uh, ambiguous. It just has. It shows these two things without this whole gun part here. And it shows the decal going there, and if you do that, it's going to go way back up underneath here. So I actually just kind of moved them. But, um, yeah, a lot of the a lot of the stickers came from the previous mold. Um, uh, I double-checked my receipt. Uh, this thing was actually 20 bucks, which is fine. It's still a great price for this thing. I think I paid 25 or 30 for the other one, and the other, the previous uh, version, um, actually uh, it was a little more complex. It had, like, the rolling wheels. It had, like, the... Um, Several more pieces to the uh, like the ch sub chassis part right here that allowed the whole body to, to pivot up. Um, the gimmick with this thing is that you can tilt it forward a little bit. It's not not much of a gimmick, but you know if somebody's standing right in front of you, I guess you can shoot them now. So that's interesting. Um, does have a swiveling turret. These guns right here do pivot, and they actually will fit into the other hard points down here which is kind of a gimmick that was left over from the uh, previous mold. They had like a, a couple of different guns you could move around, so that's kind of cool. Um, it does shoot. And then this missile is huge. I mean, this thing is like... Uh, Cobra Commander back here. It's, um... Yeah, about another, another quarter taller than... Cobra Commander there. Um, it does have a cockpit. Um, and this is the same interior that was on the, um, the previous mold. Um, and I think that's all the parts that they carried over was the front part of this body. I think the canopy um, looks like it might be a redo. But then the back half of this is all new. Like back from behind the the uh, vents here, all this is this is a new molding. Previous one had a secondary little cockpit underneath there you could put a second figure in. This one just opted for the um, big turret on top. Um, now this mold is actually shared with the San Diego Comic Con 2012 Shockwave His Tank. 
Um, it actually has, has this big um, shockwave looking cannon on the front. So I'm not sure if they developed both of these side by side. Um, and part of the way this thing looks was made because they wanted to use it for shockwave. So that may explain part of the remold and the fact they could use the same uh, molding on two or two tool, the same tooling on two different molds or two different issues um, that saves them a little bit of money. So that, that probably explains a bit, a bit of the price point there too. Um, now the Cobra Commander figure, she is like head and shoulders way better than the uh, Snake Eyes. It's an all new mold. It doesn't look like any other Cobra Commander that I think I've seen. It has this cool gunmetal silver. It's black plastic for the most part. He has two gun firing hands there. Let me get the hiss out of the way so we can actually get this guy. Um, it's got a cool Cobra logo tampoed on there. It's got different red accents on different parts of the figure. Um, it's really detailed. Unfortunately, it still has only five points of articulation, which that wasn't the main problem I had with the Snake Eyes before. Just the fact that we already had so many different Snake Eyes molds available. They could have just reused one, maybe given it a new head um, from the Retaliation line, and put that in the All Striker. Um, this one's awesome. It has um, sort of a ball joint head. They got some red detailing right there. So let's get this guy. I mean, he's got a lot of detail, tons of detail. And just the fact that he actually has paint apps, it makes him just look awesome. Um, so yeah. Um, and he does actually fit, fit in the cockpit. And he's made out of squishy, squishy plastic. Um, so he fits in there really. Fairly easy. Um, then of course, I don't know if it's in the cockpit. And he actually, his legs only bend that far, which is fine because the cockpit is at that angle. Actually, you can recline him a little bit more. Just wish he, um, he can kind of grip onto the uh, controls. And the fact that he's made out of squishy plastic makes it a lot easier. But he's still kind of a pain to get in there just because you can't angle the arms. Um, perfectly to get that good grip, but yeah, it fits in there just right. Um, the only real drawbacks to see on this thing is that I really didn't care for the stickers. The molding on this front part is kind of soft, it's kind of weak. Um, I would have preferred just left the guns off and just like a just had the nose on there, and that would have been fine because this thing already has like two Gatlings and a cannon. Um, this this two up here is a little soft as far as detailing. Um, the rest of it, like the main body and everything else, is nice, nice, really, really crisp uh, molds on there. Um, it does sw uh, swivel. So really, you know, this thing looks like it'd be a really great uh, anti-aircraft um, asset. You know, almost a combination of a hiss and an asp put together. Just wish instead of the pivoting forward, if they had to pivot back, it would be perfect for an anti-aircraft uh, type hiss. So Hasbro, take note. Um, yeah, it looks really cool. There's some uh, stuff that I had questions about. Like there is a place for like an antenna to go in here and it's the same way on the previous mold and there's nothing that goes in there same thing with this there's two holes right here there's nothing that goes with this now I'll have to get the uh, San Diego Comic Con version and see if they utilize that uh, in the turret up here but uh, other than that, you know no real drawbacks I would like to see the um, the rubber tracks but they really didn't work all that well on the previous hiss which I have right here it's the brown version um, and there goes the mechanism. And it does have a mechanism with a button on there where you push and it rises up. Um, I just like the stance a little better on the older one. Um, but the tracks just did not work on this thing. You'd roll it and the tracks just came flying off there. See so you know how far off they are? They've already come away from this and it even has a, you know, a lip so it wouldn't pass over it. But it still does. So other than the stance, um, I do like the cockpit a little bit better on this one. It's more traditional. I mean, this one I know they're going with a super sci-fi looking thing. Um, they are about the same size. You can tell that the uh, the back portions are pretty different. Um, now, so if they'd taken this one and had used maybe just just even used this same molding for the uh, the track part right there with a huge wheels on it and the the gap in there and all that and just made it solid like these are I think that would look a little bit cooler this just really does look like the old hiss though 
Eh, so all in all, I mean, not to give it a mixed review or anything, I mean, really, it's probably like a, I'll give it a, about a 9 out of 10, um, based primarily on the fact that it's, you get a really good value. The figure is actually pretty cool. It has a couple action features on there. Um, the colors aren't too bad. Uh, it really does fit in with my, uh, well, with the um, Pursuit of Cobra um, line as well as the Retaliation line. So, uh, not too bad. So, 9 out of 10 uh, bullets for the uh, Jejo Retaliation His Tank with Cobra Commander.